In this video, I'd like to talk briefly about two areas of math that Ramana John made huge strides in. Now, it, he contributed to a lot of different areas of mathematics, um, but there are two that came up in the film that are relatively easy to explain what they are, but um, the mathematics that he would have done to come about with his estimations would have been very complicated. But I want to at least describe what they are. So the first topic is a number we'll call pi of n. Pi of n, so n is just going to be some number. So n could be 1 or 2 or 3 or four, really any positive whole number. So you're gonna plug a positive whole number in here. And what you should get out is the number of prime numbers smaller than or equal to n. So a prime number, uh, you may remember from elementary school, a prime number, it's only divisors are 1 and p. So p is prime if it's only positive divisors are 1 and p. And in the definition, there's a little caveat that it has to be strictly bigger than one. And so one is not considered a prime number. It's also not considered composite, uh, which is a number that has more divisors than just one and p. One is neither prime nor composite. So just a quick look at some of the smaller numbers. Pi of one, well, how many numbers smaller than or equal to one are prime? None, because it has to be bigger than 1 to be prime. So this one's a little tricky. Pi of 1 is 0. Pi of 2. We want to count all the numbers smaller than or equal to 2 that are prime. Well, the only numbers smaller than or equal to 2 are 1 and 2. And 1 is not prime, 2 is. So that's one prime number smaller than or equal to 2. If we look at pi of 3, 1 is not prime, 2 is prime, and 3 is prime. So that's two prime numbers smaller than or equal to 3. Pi of 4, 1 well, is not prime, 2 is, 3 is, and 4 is not. So we still only have two prime numbers smaller than or equal to 4. If we think about pi of 5, pi of 6, well, for pi of 5, the primes less than or equal to 5 are 2, 3, and 5. So that's three of them. The primes less than or equal to 6 are also 2, 3, and 5. So that's the same three. Uh, let's do one more. Let's jump ahead a little bit and look at pi of 20. So if you need to think closely about which numbers less than or equal to 20 are prime, pause the video now. If you've thought it through, you've counted that 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and 17, and 19 are the primes less than or equal to 20. So that's eight numbers, so pi of 20 is eight. So in general, it doesn't seem to be following a really obvious pattern. But mathematicians have thought about this for a long time. Is there a formula for what number is going to come out here? And the first major estimation we have for pi of n 
was that it's about n divided by natural log of n. So if you're trying to find pi of 20, one suggested estimate is to do 20 divided by the natural log of 20. And this was brought forth by the mathematician Gauss in about 1792. And then we got a new estimate less than 20 years, well, yeah, less than 20 years later, is that, well, a better estimate isn't just n divided by natural log of n, it's n divided by the natural log of n minus 1.08366. And this is an estimate that was brought forth by the mathematician Legendre in 1808. So this is a little bit of a corrective term. Natural log of n doesn't get you very close, but if you subtract this number from it, you get a little closer. And finally, we come to the estimate that Ramanujan was using. So he was using the estimate that required a little bit of calculus. Those of, you have taken, those of you that have taken calculus will recognize this symbol. Those of you that haven't, don't worry about it. But he said it was the integral from 2 to n of 1 over the natural log of x with respect to x. And Ramanujan believed that this was what's called an upper bound. So it believed that he believed that the number of primes was always smaller than this. It would never get any bigger. However, uh, you might remember in the movie when uh, Hardy was talking about upper bounds. He said that Littlewood disproved this. And that is true. That happened in real life. Littlewood I think this came out in his letter that he wrote um, to Hardy when he was leaving for World War I um, in the movie. Uh, but in the real world Littlewood disproved this in 1914. He found an n that you could plug in where the number of primes was strictly bigger than this number, whatever it means. If you've taken calculus, you know this is the measurement of some of an area under this curve. Um, but Littlewood found an n you can plug in where this inequality is not true, where the left-hand side, the number of primes, is strictly bigger than this integral. So um, that's one thing that was a setback for Ramanujan. He was using this as an upper bound. He said that pi of n is always smaller than or equal to this. And Littlewood showed that that's not true because he found one n value where that's not true. And that's all you need for a disproof. So that's one of the mathematical concepts that came up in the film and one area in which Ramanujan did make contributions to mathematics.